because getting scammed is definitely a real thing in the industry. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bree and welcome to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about all things audition websites. Kind of comparing them, telling you guys which ones are good to have, which ones are bad to have or not so helpful, and which ones are just a waste of your time. So I hope you find this video helpful, and as always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing to let me know how I'm doing, and let's get started. So I'm gonna be talking about um, a couple major audition websites as well as some more specific ones for certain areas, um, kind of breaking down how they work, how are they helpful, do they cost anything, stuff like that, and what um, regions of the country they're most popular for or most useful for. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Backstage.com. It's probably one of the most popular audition websites that the majority of people use. Um, and that's for a specific reason, it's because it's a great website. So Backstage is a paid membership. You do have to um, pay, I believe, normally for first time buyers, it's like $99. Um, to start a uh, um, account with them, um, but they always have some like Black Friday sale around like November um, that's like $75, which is a great deal because for a normal membership, it's usually $150 a year. So it is a kind of pricey, but I mean, if you're using it all year round, that's like a little over 10 bucks a month, so it's really not that bad. Um, so I've had a backstage membership for a couple years now. Um, I probably got it. I mean, maybe my junior, senior year of college, so probably around like three or four years now I've had a membership with them. And they've been really great. I mean, when I was in New York and auditioning in New York, they were fantastic um, because their website is really nicely laid out and you can filter um, the different auditions based on your age or your type or what type of role it is or um, any kind of filter known to man. So you can really um, get the right search for what type of roles you're looking for. Um, and you can also save your different filters based on if you're looking for different things so that you don't have to keep plugging in those filters every time. So I know I always had um, a New Jersey search if I was um, looking for stuff in New Jersey, a New York search when I was mainly auditioning in New York, um, and then I have one for Orlando, um, which is where I'm currently situated, so I can find stuff in the Orlando area. Um, and it's been really great. Like I said, I've used it for about three or four years, and I've booked jobs from it. I've actually been able to book jobs I haven't even submitted for from it, which is also really great because Backstage has an entire message board that you can message back and forth with the creators or the people posting the jobs. Um, where they can also then search your profile or search for people with profiles similar to what they're looking for and they can message those people about job opportunities. So I know I've gotten some commercial work through the message board with casting directors messaging me because I fit the description of whatever they were looking for, the location they wanted people to be from. Um, so that was definitely really helpful that they have that. But the one thing that's also really great about Backstage is that they verify all of their postings um, which some audition websites do not do that, and I will get into that a little bit later. Um, so basically, when a casting director or a company um, posts an audition, it will tell you right as soon as you click on it whether it has been verified yet, meaning the backstage creators have looked over that posting, um, contacted those people posting it to make sure it's a legit um, posting and a legit job so you're not gonna get scammed because um, getting scammed is definitely a real thing in the industry. Um, I was scammed in the past, it was a very scary situation, so if you wanna check out that story, check out how I got scammed or how I got out of being scammed, you can click the link right up here. I will post that for you guys, so you can kind of learn from that story as well. Um, so they verify it, and once it is verified, you will not see that screen pop up saying this is not verified yet um, so you know it's a legit job and you can go ahead and submit for it. Um, I also really like their submission process that for the majority of postings you can submit right there through your profile. Your profile has your headshot, resume, different photos, special skills, um, companies you've worked for, basically any information the company would want to know about you and you can submit your profile along with maybe a video reel, audio reel, whatever they're looking for, um, and just send that straight up to the casting team. So especially right now in this quarantine, people are not able to audition in 
person. So a lot of people are using sites like Backstage to submit their reels or submit different audition materials or self tapes um, to be able to still audition in this time and hopefully have a job after this is all done. So um, it's definitely a very useful tool for actors, um, whether you're in quarantine or not. Um, and it makes it really easy because everything is all laid out right there in one spot. Um, the one negative I will say about Backstage is that now being um, situated in the Orlando area, Backstage doesn't really um, have much use for me here. Um, if you are located in New York or any major city, I know they have Backstage West, which is um, Backstage for the LA market. Um, it's a really great tool to have because so many companies flock to New York or maybe LA um, to hold their auditions from all over the country. So if you're in the New York area, you're going to find a lot of auditions happening in the city in New York. But here in Orlando, um, a lot of companies here I've realized don't actually use Backstage or use um, different casting websites like that. They normally have their own um, sort of way of doing things, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Um, so I just realized that Backstage isn't really worth my time or my money right now because I'm not really using it at all and none of the companies I'm auditioning for are using that anyway. So I will be canceling my membership this year. Um, have tried out without Backstage and I think it's going to be the right fit for me. But again, if you are in the New York area, um, definitely check out Backstage. It's a great website, especially if you're still in college and you're auditioning for summer companies or trying to audition while in college. It's a great um, site to get your name out there and submit to as many companies as possible super quickly. The next casting website I'm going to talk about is Playbill.com, another really popular website for all things theater. I mean, they can get you can get um, news articles about theater, you can get tickets for shows, you can get so many things, but they also have a job board. Um, so you'll basically go to Playbill's website, um, you'll go down to jobs, and then it'll come up with all different postings for all jobs in every aspect of theater, not just performing. So you're just going to use all those filters, make sure you um, click the different ones you want, whether it's for performer, um, in the job description. Um, making sure they're paid. I would suggest always using that paid to make sure the jobs are paid, um, whether they're union, non-union, um, where they're located, stuff like that. So Playbill is also a website I've been using for about three or four years now. Um, Playbill is free, so you don't have to worry about creating a profile or creating any sort of membership or anything like that, um, but that does come with a cost, um, and that is you're not getting the verification that Backstage has. Um, where they're verifying that all of their postings are legit. Um, and that's kind of where my scam story comes in because I was scammed through a Playbill posting. Um, so again, you can just click the link above to get that whole story, but basically it's because Playbill does not verify their postings. Basically anyone can post on Playbill for free, um, whether that's uh, real or not real, um, as far as the legitimacy of their postings. Um, but it is just something to be aware of, to not believe everything that's on Playbill or just to do your research a little bit more. Um, a lot of companies that post on Playbill also post on Backstage, so if you're seeing them on both websites, um, you can almost guarantee it's legit. Um, but as far as if it's, I would say mostly if it's something with a headline that's in all caps, it's probably fake. Um, so just keep that in mind. But. I think Playbill also does a good job with their filters as far as figuring out what you want. It's not as detailed as Backstage is, um, but it still is enough filters to kind of get you where you need to go. Um, and it's something I'll continue to use because there are companies in Orlando that do use Playbill and again it's free so it's really not hurting me for checking it every day. My next set of websites is kind of combining a couple, you have like Actors Access, Casting Network, Casting Frontier, all those different types. They're more smaller, not as well-known casting websites, but they do kind of the same things that Backstage or Playbill does, and it has jobs posted by casting directors that you can submit for, um, and stuff like that. So uh, I have a profile with Actors Access and with Casting Networks. I don't really use any of them, <laughs> to be honest. I got them, either people told me to get them, um, or I just wanted to check out and see what they were like. Um, but I will say with Actors Access, it is a good website to use if you are more interested in the TV film industry. Maybe you're more LA based or you want to get more into the film side of things. That is a really great website to use because that 
is I would say the majority of what their postings are, are um, film, TV, commercial, print, like stuff like that. The other downside to Actors Access in my opinion is that you have to pay to add things to your profile as well as to submit stuff to the casting directors. So I just really don't like that and I think there's so many other websites I can use that I don't have to do that with and I'm also not 100% like um, only looking for the film industry so I'd rather use a website that kind of has a little bit of everything rather than just focusing on one aspect. Casting networks, I got a profile with them because I had an agent while I was still in college, um, a commercial agent that was based out of Miami and they told me to get a um, profile with casting networks because that was the website they would use to submit me for different commercials and stuff like that. So um, I did both commercials through there. Um, my agent was submitting me for them so I don't really have a lot of experience of submitting myself but that is um, again a membership type of website so you do have to pay for a membership there because my agent was submitting for me I didn't have to pay for my pay for a membership at all they just submitted everything um, I could see the different postings that were on there but I really couldn't submit for them myself um, but I'm no longer with that agency um, they were great it's just I'm not in the Miami area and it's just I just can't get down there um, often enough so um, if you want to check out Casting Networks, I definitely go ahead. Again, it's more geared toward like the TV, film, commercial industry, um, not so much theater, so just keep that in mind. My last type of casting website is kind of a big hodgepodge of a bunch of different things, but it's basically talking about individual websites and Facebook. Um, one thing I've noticed since being down here in Orlando is that a lot of the companies down here either have their own type of auditioning website or they mainly use Facebook to post their audition notices so any of the like theme parks or stuff like that those are going to have um, individual websites so you have like disneyauditions.com universal auditions um sea world parks and entertainment um, they all have their own website that they post their auditions um some of them also do use backstage or playbill in addition to their websites um but for me i would just rather go to their personal website i know i'm gonna find every audition there um and it doesn't require any sort of membership. Um, you do make a profile with Universal and Disney SeaWorld. You make like kind of a profile, but not like real, not uh, to the ends of Disney. Um, so you do make a profile and you can submit um, your stuff through there as far as your headshot, resume, reel, stuff like that. And you'll use that to sign in with those companies once you get to the audition. Um, but, if their websites are just really smart and everything's laid out for you there, um, you can again filter based on the type of role um, or the type of audition or which park it's for. Um, Disney's um, audition website is for all of the Disney parks as well as Disney Cruise Line, so you can audition for stuff um, for Shanghai or Tokyo or Paris or Disney World or Disney Cruise Line, stuff like that. So it's a really good all in one all things Disney website and I absolutely love it. Universal, same thing, that's only for Universal Studios in Florida um, that that website is for, but they again laid out really well. Um, their audition process and website more goes through a type out type of situation first where you're gonna submit to the job and then they will invite you to audition if they like your profile. So you just always want to make sure that your profile is up to date, it's got all of your best stuff on there, you look like your headshots and stuff like that. That way you have the best chance of them wanting to call you back based on the skills you currently have. SeaWorld is also a really great website. Theirs encompasses all of SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment, which is for um, SeaWorld, Bush Gardens, Wet n Wild, um, all of those parks throughout the country. Um, so you have a lot of different opportunities there. They do not do any sort of like early submission thing. Theirs are just kind of posting when their auditions are and you go to the one that's near you. Um, but again, works really well. Um, but then what I've noticed for the actual physical theaters in Orlando, so some examples are Garden Theater or Theater West End or um, St. Luke's or whatever. Um, those types of theaters are mainly using Facebook to post their auditions. So all you really have to do is like them on Facebook or you can sign up for their newsletter on their website. 
Um, and then they'll send you emails whenever your, um, whenever their next auditions are, or they'll always post on Facebook with the link um, to their audition signups. They send you to basically a submission form for you to set up an appointment with them. Um, just have your name, email, all your basic information, headshot, resume, and then you submit and they give you an audition time for the day of the audition that you chose. Um, so I think it's really nice. It's a really great way to not waste people's time, um, which is really, really great. And the theaters are really accommodating towards the theme parks in Orlando because they know a lot of people do both. Um, having their auditions at night, that type of stuff. So, um, I have no problem with them using Facebook. It's easy, it's free, um, it's something I'm on every single day, so um, it definitely makes my life easier just by liking them on Facebook. I know I'll get notified whenever their next auditions are. For me personally, I, like I said, I will not be using Backstage anymore. I'm probably just gonna stick to the individual websites, Facebook, um, and Playbill occasionally. I. I'll look on Playbill, but I don't really like use it too much um, just because I'm always weary of scams. But yeah, that's just kind of what works for me in the Orlando area. Again, if you're in the New York area, you're really not going to go to individual websites too much because all of those theaters and companies are going to flock to New York and are most likely going to use Backstage or Playbill or both. So you can probably stick to using Backstage and Playbill, maybe Actors Access if you want um, a wider range of like film, TV, print type of stuff. Um, but those is what I say would be like the best bet for you in New York. Um, as far as the LA market, I'm, I've never been to LA, so I don't really know it too well, but I would probably say more of your Actors Access Casting Network type of stuff or using Backstage West, that type of stuff would be the best fit for you. I really hope this was helpful for everyone. Um, if you're trying to figure out which membership to get, you by no means have to get all of them all at once. Um, that would be expensive and a lot of money and a waste of your time. Um, but just kind of figure out which one works best for you and where you want to take your life. The entertainment industry is so vast and so wide and you can do so many things with a degree in theater that you can kind of figure out for yourself which path you want to go and figure out which websites will work for you. But as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel um, and I will see you all next time. Bye!